a very good morning children i hope you are studying for your periodic test so now today we'll revise our chapter number 1 of biology that is crop production and management so let us have a thorough revision session of this chapter so the starting of the chapter that is a crop what is a crop when same type of plants are grown and cultivated on a large piece of land it is called a crop when same plant of is grown and cultivated on a large piece of land it is called a crop so we have learnt already the crops are divided into two main kinds kharif crops and rabi crops kharif crops are the crops grown in rainy season whereas rabi crops are the crops grown in winter season generally kharif crops are grown from june to september rabi crops are grown from october to march next examples are soya bean groundnut paddy maize of kharif crops and that of rabi crops are wheat gram pea mustard lime seeds etc so the crops are divided into kharif and rabi crops now what are agricultural practices agricultural practices means activities involved in the growing of crops and their management activities involved in the growing of crops and their management is called agricultural practices okay so basically agricultural practices are the first one is preparation of soil sowing of the seeds adding manure and fertilizers irrigation protection from weeds harvesting and storage okay so these are the basic agricultural practices now let us understand these in detail okay so the first one is preparation of soil preparation of soil means preparation of soil means turning and loosening of the soil the process of turning and loosening of the soil is called plowing or tilling so what are the benefits of plowing it mix the soil break up the large pieces of soil and it is done with the tools like plow hoe and cultivator plow and hoe are manual tools which are used with the help of animals as we have learned whereas cultivator is run by a tractor and saves time and labor got it so the next step is sowing sowing means sowing good quality seeds for better yield how we can uh, verify the quality of seeds as we have learnt in the activity by putting some bee seeds in the beaker the seeds which are damaged hollow will float and the seeds which are of good quality will sink okay so sowing can be done by two tools the traditional tool and the seed drill okay and traditional tool uses animals and human labor whereas seed drill can be run by a tractor and saves time and labor okay now the next one is adding manure and fertilizers manure is an organic substance made by decomposition of dead and decaying matter okay it adds a lot of humus to the soil whereas fertilizers are chemical rich in plant nutrients like potassium nitrogen etc they increase the crop yield but excessive use of fertilizers can be harmful so the step of adding manure and fertilizer if we when we add manure to the soil so that process is called manuring got it manure is beneficial because it do not have any disadvantages whereas excessive use of fertilizers can be harmful because it causes both land and soil water pollution got it